Why Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are planning to spend New Year in UK? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will likely ring the New Year in Britain, the first trip back since the move to America, Newsweek has learned. The Duchess of Sussex would give evidence in person during a private seat lawsuit against the Mail on Sunday with a trial date set for January 11th. Meghan is suing in the UK tabloid for printing a letter she sent her father about the breakdown of the relationship. Under current guidelines, they would need to self-isolate for two weeks prior to attending the hearings of the High Court in London. That means that the young family will have to arrive on UK soil at the end of December at the latest in order to be out of isolation in time. A friend of couple no to Newsweek. Had it not been for COVID and travel restrictions, they could have already been back in the UK. For things like Beatrice weddings and tripping the collar, for example. It is worth also pointing out that the trial date for the meal on Sunday is set to start on January 11th at the High Court London, which, if noting changes, will still require two weeks self-isolation before it starts. If Harry and Meghan are to spend Christmas with the royal family, they will need to arrive by December 10 in order to be out of isolation in time for festivities on Christmas Eve. Queen Elizabeth II's Christmas is under threat as Britain faces increasing lockdown measures amid a second wave. It is unclear that what restrictions on gatherings among households will be in place when Christmas arrives. The planned trip comes after a source to Britain's son Newspaper Harry and Meghan's Frogmore cottage home was being made ready for the prince's arrival sometime soon. Harry and Meghan have been in America since March, after completing their final royal duties in Britain in the same month. They initially stayed at the Tyler Perry's mansion in Los Angeles, where they were beset by paparazzi photographers. This week, they won an apology from picture agency X17 over images taken by drone of baby Archie playing the grounds of the Hollywood producer's home. Michael Combe, the couple's lawyer, said the agency agreed a reimbursement of legal fees but made no mentions of damages. Quoted by Sky News, he added, Over the summer, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex took action against intrusive and illegal paparazzi photos taken of the family at a private residence. Today, the agency responsible for those photos X-17 apologized and agreed to permanent injunction and reimbursement of legal fees. This is a successful outcome. All families have a right, protected by law, to feel safe and secure at home. X-17 said in a statement, We apologize to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the son for the distress we have caused. We go wrong to offer these photographs and commit to not doing so again. In June, Harry and Meghan bought their new home own $14.7 million Montecito Mansion, the first time either has owned their own homes 